Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe now. It really helps the channel grow. So here we have products and the products table, but we are not seeing any products even though we do have products in here. So let's see how we can uh, visualize those products here. And so let's go to our views because this has to do with views. Actually, we can start with controllers and uh, let's go to the admin controller. Uh, wait a second. Yes, admin controller. Let's go to the views here. Aha, uh -huh. so products view. That's the one right here. Okay, so all we need is to look for to create a products uh, variable here that has something in there and then we should be good. Okay. All right. So what we are looking for here is let's go to um, we need the controller for this so we can create that. So let's go to admin and now this is where I get to check which I need this right here, this sort of thing. Uh, so let me copy this. So here it requires that and I need something similar like this in the admin controller. So let me go back here to the view and copy this. Now we already have PHP tags on the other side, so let's just copy the switch part and I'm going to go to admin uh, right here. Actually, instead of using switch because switch doesn't really leave much room to do a lot. So what I would do instead is let's just use an if statement. So I'm just going to say if tab uh, is equal to products, right? Like so. So if tab is equal to products, let's do one thing. If it isn't, let's do something else. So here, all I want to do is create some products. So first of all, I'm just going to say uh, product class is equal to new product, like so. That way I can easily read from it by just saying products is equal to, and then I'll say the products class. Now, it depends how you want to name this. You can, um, you can put a C like this, product class. Uh, that's entirely up to you, the naming convention that you want to use. As long as it's readable to you, uh, it doesn't really matter. So here I want to use the um, where clause. Um, actually, no, let's use the query because we just want to read all products with maybe a specific limit and so on. So we're going to say select all from products, uh, order by ID descending. So we're telling it to order by the column ID in descending order. So this means the latest uh, will be at the top. So whatever you product you've added right now will be at the top. So if this one returns good results, then it's going to show uh, in here because this is going to be received as products exists. Okay, so let's try that out. And there we go. Very nice. So we have something that we can see here, even though this is not exactly what we are looking for. So this thing is telling me attempts to read property barcode on array, right? So what this means is that I'm trying to use, um, I'm using this method, even though product is actually an array and not a, um, it's not an object. So my bad, let's remove these guys. Since we are using arrays, 
The reason it's like this is because if we go to our core and look at the database class, you will notice that um, the fetch actually fetches an associative array and not an OBJ. So if we were fetching an OBJ, this is how we would go about reading from it. But it's an associative array, so uh, we have to do this instead like so right by the way i hold down control and use the right arrow to move to the next word like this left right left right okay so once i've done that i should do probably do the same here and control right arrow key and there we go so this should uh, solve this problem refresh and there we go so as you can see, we have a barcode, we have a burger, quantity, price, image, and then date. So image, why do we have image here though? Uh, oh, that's because I wrote it like that. Alrighty then. So now we need a way to get our images. Now the thing is, right now if I try to add an image, it's going to be something like this. So I'm going to copy this and I will put this there like so. And let me close that. Why didn't it get everything? Yes, something like this. So instead of amount though, let's put image there. So image contains an image path, right? And there it is, right? Image path. Mm-hmm. Now, um, now there are times when uh, the items you show on this list are not really the full uh, picture of what the product contains. So we need to be able to click on one of these items to go to more detail, just in case there's a description for the product, etc., etc. So we will add that as well. And then we clearly have an edit and delete button, which is really cool. But before we deal with these two, let's deal with an image first. So here it's just showing me the link to my image. So what I can do is add an image tag over here. So I know there will always be an image because image is a required uh, Thing when adding a product so I know the image will always exist so I've just created an image tag and added this as a source so this should work just fine even though you see the images are quite large let's uh, add a style to reduce that so I'm just going to say style is equal to and then here I'll say width uh, 100 pixels and then let's save that actually let me just say max width right and say width 100 percent but the maximum is 100 pixels so if i refresh now this is what i see very nice so so far nothing wrong here we have all this uh the only problem is the images are not really um, square images, right? They are wide like this. And if I had images that are taller this way, this would get really uh, weird very quickly because it's looking at the width. Let's say if an image was tall going this way, that would be a problem. But we're going to fix that issue of having square uh, images by creating an image proper from scratch so that we can crop all images that come in here because keep in mind that when i go to my home page here these are supposed to be square images otherwise it doesn't look so good so we will need to be able to crop our images quite nicely to fit here so don't worry about that we will see how to easily crop images it's not so easy but We'll create a function that would do that on our behalf, but where we just create the function once and then every image we upload, we just run it through the function and it's going to crop that image. 
So back to this, here we are. So now I need to be able to view the image. So I need to add at least one more button here that will say view, or maybe I can add a link to the, um, the product name here. So let's try and do that. So right on the product description, I'm going to do this and let's add a, uh, a tag so that we can uh, add a link like this. And link will go with index.php because always it's the index page, right? And then PG is equal to, uh, let's call it products-single like this. That's what we're going to call it. But we need to know which product we are looking at. So we will need maybe a product ID, right? either a barcode or an id or something of that sort so let's try and id is equal to and then i'm going to get product id and put it there so product there and then uh, okay so here i will need php tags because this is a php value and then i'll put id there like this then move the closing a tag to the close of this and then we are good to go so now i have a link to a page so that when i click on it it takes me to this page with a proper id for that product like so so you see id equal one and then id equals two okay so from this we need to create uh, a single product page view all right so let's say that do that or let's fix the edit and delete i think let's go in the edit and delete format before we can do all of this okay so i'll see you in the next video guys